I couldn't control it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you said you knew how to drive. Yeah, I, I thought so myself, but um, <laughs> um, wait, wait, you scared? No, I, I, I. I just wanted to shake you up a little bit. God, you're even worse than I thought. You're, you're outrightly terrifying. What did you say? But that was only a joke. <laughs> I got you again. I got you. Take two. <laughs> You're just so impossible. What? What did you just do? Kissed you. Look, I like you, okay? But um, I think you're taking this too, too fast. Okay. I slow down. I slow down. I'm sorry. Not to you. Please move uh, this car. I'm sorry. something so deep and interesting. Really? Yes. And I'm willing to explore and discover it. I'll be waiting. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, I think. Ajaka. My best friend Ajali. Hi. Hi. We met before at my sister's traditional wedding. Your sister? Yes. Yeah, Ajaka is actually my stepmom's brother. I didn't oh, me. sorry, my bad. I didn't um, take notes. Certainly, because you had your eyes on several other guys. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Same here. And you two will make a perfect couple. This is supposed to mean matchmaking. I just stated the statement as I saw it. Um, and as a truth. Excuse me. Um, I like to yeah. excuse us. What are you trying to do? How do you do with him? Don't be ridiculous. That's my stepmom's back. Are you sure? Just call this job. There's nothing going on between us. We came to take you out. Well, sorry, I would refuse your offer today. Um, I see that your brother is dangerous. I'm not. Good you see? Long. You already begin to fall for him, right? Uh, please, let's just drive around town and have fun. Okay? Your girl still has a head on the shoulder. I hope so. That is how it is. So. <laughs> sorry, yeah. I'm 
I'm no longer concentrating on my business. And that, that, that disastrous for me. Do you think I should speak to her? I'm relying on Ojali to put some sense in your head. I don't just understand what she got this silly idea from of me main saying someone. Uh, you know, uh, it's natural for her to be jealous because uh, she saw you with someone. And that, that means that, that she cares for you. But what I don't understand is, uh, is uh, the girl harassing her to stay away from your life or something. Yeah, that's the most amazing thing. It's the same thing I, I don't understand. Oh. Because I know myself. I don't, I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, stop. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Is that not a chifa? Who is that guy with her? My brother? I don't know. Okay. Now I know the reason why she's been avoiding you. No, no, no. Because no. she had, she has been saying someone. That's no, why she's no, been no, avoiding you. No, no, That's it. No. That's... I don't agree with you. Huh? Don't run into conclusion, okay? We need to find out who the guy really is, okay? If truly they have something in common, it could be embarrassing and disastrous. Of course. But all we need to do now is to investigate and find out who the guy really is, okay? Oh, let's, uh, let's go. Just drive out so that uh, your anger will not uh, overcome your sense of reasoning, okay? Women are all deceitful. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 all yeah. deceitful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is working as planned. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the latest. Yours truly is now in a sizzling hot relationship with my brother. Ow. You know what that means, right? Idoku has been abandoned. Abandoned just like a forgotten project. I told you. I told you. He lost it all when he pulled the thread. Oh, yes. See, Ajifa is gone and it's gone forever. See, babes. Let us celebrate to the success of a well planned. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a lesson to anybody who crosses our path. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh. What's this? Drink it. Yeah. Drink it. <laughs> what were you thinking? How can you just jump into another man's arms? Not quite long, you broke up with your fiance. Oh, Jali, there is nothing happening between us. How can you say there is nothing happening between you both? Don't I have eyes? Don't I see? I saw everything. And even gave him your car to drive. Do I keep reminding you that that guy is my stepmother's brother? So it's now your stepmother's brother you want to date. Are you that stupid? Don't be ridiculous, man, okay? That guy came in when I was passing through emotional trauma. When I needed a shoulder to lean on. He came to make me happy. Now I am happy. Okay? Besides, I've told him about Idoko already. And I've also made him to understand the fact that nothing can happen between us other than us just being friends. And he understands. So your girl is not stupid. Okay? Fine. Idoko has been calling you. Why don't you pick his call? Why don't you even just listen to him? At least hear him out. Oh, right. I... I was going to call him. But not now. Please. I just need some time out to put myself together. Okay? okay. Do you still think I'm stupid? Because you act so stupid. God, I am not stupid. Please. Okay? Well, I was able to speak with her. I explained everything to her. And she's ready to listen to you. But she'll be needing more time to put herself together. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Listen, I, I understand. I really appreciate the fact that you're trying so hard to make this thing work. But I understand that this thing is not going to work. You know why? Because the time your friend is asking for, she needs you to consolidate her new relationship. What are you talking about? I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? I'm not aware that she has a new guy that she moves around with. <laughs> huh? I, I saw them. I saw them together. You should know what I'm talking about because you're your best friend. <laughs> Why, you think it's funny? <laughs> you both are just blinded by jealousy. The new guy you actually think is a boyfriend is um, Atelier's brother. <laughs> he actually came around noticing that um, she was going through an emotional stress and wanted to keep her company. Nothing is going between the both of them. <laughs> God, you both are just... So jealous of my liking. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, 
where I, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all the same, you know. Thanks so much for everything. You've really, really been so dependable. Mm, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so thank uh, you so much. Uh, can you can, can right. dance to that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but somewhere you can't blame me because I saw the whole. How do you know where you were so jealous? Looking for us. <laughs> 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 okay. Where are you going? Oh, Auntie, I'm going to write an aptitude test. What about the one you wrote the last time? The one they actually wrote the last time has been cancelled and they asked them to come back for a reset. So why are you carrying the bag? Yeah, the time for the exam is in the evening. So I may not be able to come back after the exam. I put up somewhere tonight in morning. Okay. Well, if you had told me much earlier, I probably would have gathered some money for you, but it's too impromptu. He had been able to raise him from cash for his transportation, accommodation and possibly his welfare. That's very nice of you. Then I wish you the best, okay? Thank you. Let me drop you at the park. I'll be right back. Why are you this excited? Man. <laughs> I just did. What's up with you? I'm you good, look I'm good. good. Thank you, and you too. <laughs> so what's happening here? What are you doing here? Uh, you just came to do some pricing. Pricing of what, if I may ask? Food stuffs. <laughs> Food stuff for what? I cook. You do what? You're kidding. You cook. Yes. Oh, I can imagine the kind of cooking you're talking about. <laughs> Don't even go there. Mm. Because I am the best cook. You're just flattering yourself. So where are you up to? Where are you up to? Run into the cyber cafe right down to update my Facebook account. Okay, okay. Please, you are here to accept my request. Oh, you added me already? Yes, of course I I'll did. I'll do just that. And how about you? Where are you going to? Okay, I'm heading home from the park. I just dropped off my cousin at the door. You know him, right? Yes. He's traveling home for his jam examination. I see. Yep. Um, how about those books? Are you through with them? Yes, I am. I was even thinking of sending the books back to you, but now that I've seen you, why not join me home so you could pick them up? Oh, drop wouldn't that be stressful for you? Uh, not, not. For a friend like you, anything goes, okay? <laughs> Like that. Is anybody home? I did. You did what? You mean you removed my? 
my mother's framed picture. Ajifa, that was the picture of a dead woman. And this is the house where living people stay in. It's not a house of a ghost. What gave you the nerve to read my mother's framed picture from my husband's house? She is dead. How could you have done a thing like that? And who called you? Or who asked for your opinion? Your act demanded for my opinion. And I am saying it is very wrong. I will come to you later. And you? What are you saying? What kind of a woman are you? Huh? Okay, where did you keep it? I burnt it. You... Sis, that is wickedness now. Can you just shut up? How dare you burn it? Are you... Are you... Are you... Are you... Are you out of your mind? Please, please, please. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. to hit me. Like, <laughs> seriously, I'm so going to kill her. She doesn't even know what we hit her yet. Like, I saw it. I saw it from the beginning that that girl is thicker than what we think. I saw it. Ah, <sighs> It's not going to be easy for you at all. It's not going to be easy. See, if both of you are going to stay in the same house, then know it that she is your born enemy. Yes. So think about it. Ajika was in support of her. Like, I don't understand the reason I have the most stupid brother in the whole universe. He couldn't even support me. If you have to maintain your stay in that house, then it will have to be without her. Yeah. And if you ask me my advice, I'll say you play your last card. Yeah? Play your last card or remain in bondage. One minute. Last card. Sounds interesting. Hello, Daddy. Daddy, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Hope you're good. Oh, thank God. You're coming back tomorrow. Daddy, I can't wait to have you back. All right. Daddy, I, I love you and I miss you. Bye, Dad.
Hmm. I give up. Just like that. This way. Have to stop worrying yourself, okay? She's gonna be fine. How can I stop worrying myself? Tell me, how can I stop worrying myself? Hmm. I mean, this girl is my responsibility. Okay. Everybody will question me. What happened to her? What is this? What am I going to tell Chief? That I'm an irresponsible wife? I can't take care of his daughter? not be necessary. Chief Onunche here is family. She's like a daughter to him, so what? Okay. From the toxicology test we, conduct, we conducted, we discovered a high level of cocaine in her system. No. She's overdosed on cocaine? Now where would my angel find cocaine? Where, where, where would she find that? I wouldn't know. You know what you love these days. They can try anything funny without with friends. So, Doc, what are our chances of survival? She will come back. Within a few days. Some last for months, or she will come back very soon. Cocaine? My daughter, please tell me. How did you say you found my daughter? As I was coming back this morning from school where I went to write my aptitude test yesterday, as the bike was going down the road, this smart girl from nowhere just jumped into the middle of the road and the bike knocked her down. seen that as a mad person was what I couldn't understand at that point. I rushed her to the hospital and then later came back home to tell auntie about what happened. That was what happened, uncle. That's it. So, what do I have to say? Chief, I told you. I was feeling really sick last night. I went into sleep early. Only for this morning I was awakened by Adejo's voice. I quickly ran downstairs. Chifa was in the hospital, and she was knocked down by a bike. I was so confused. I had to run back upstairs to dress up, going out to the hospital with a, a day job. So, 
Chief, I slept early last night. I slept early. So you are here in this house. You don't know what happened to her. You don't even know when she left the house last night. Chief, Chief, please let's just go to the hospital. Please, let's not go to the hospital. Get in the car. Went to the hospital together, Chief. So, you never knew what happened to her? You never knew how and when she got out of his compound? Actually, Chief, I'm sorry. Why do you know anything? Nothing. Chief, I think the best thing is to ask the gate man. He's the only one that is manning the gate. I agree with you. I don't know. Call me, Abinu. As it stands now, this whole thing is about to become a case. Because her father is so furious about this whole thing. Why would you allow her to take such drugs? I don't know. I don't even know whether she took the heroin. Look, the last time I saw her was in her house. And if I thought she took anything or did anything to herself, it was after I left the place. But uh, who could have introduced her to a thing like that? I don't know. I've never seen that thing before. I don't even know what it looks like, Seth. Don't you think that guy you said his Atulis brothers must have given her the drugs? Because according to you, he was the closest person to her during our misunderstanding. Well, I don't know anything about him as to what he can do and what he cannot do. The only thing I know is that um, he was there for her when she was going through an emotional stress. Uh, Idoko, please. This is not the time for this. I mean, you don't have to suspect anyone for now. Well, let's see what happens next. Because I'm very sure that Chief will get to the bottom of this. Jeez. I mean, uh, you man the gate in my house here. It is you who knows who goes in and out. When did you see my daughter? Leave this compound. I got what I know. You say that is today. She come out, carry her danger for moto. Say she won't go drop and for park. We ain't go enter moto, go write exam. Small time, she carry Madame Brother, come back. Small time again, Madame Brother, come out. And I know she, Auntie Ajifa. Madame, bro Madame Brother, drive out. Yes, Chief. Till now, I come to here see Madame Antia Jefa, day for hospital, Chief. <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. Commissioner, please. It's Chief Abalaka again. Please, have you heard from the policeman in search of that man? Okay. Could you please send me some more men into my house right away? Yes, to my house, please. Right away, please. Thank you. Send the police looking for me when I don't know what is happening. Who told you the police is looking for you? My sister called me. Why don't you go to the police if you think you're innocent? Please. I'm Idoka. Undieke. No, not again. Those guys are so heartless. They don't care whether you're innocent or not. Once you get there, they start beating you like a criminal. I know my experience with them the last time I was there. Not again. 
Well, I think you should um, go and explain to Chief himself since you don't want to go to the police. Because right now, whether you like it or not, every eye is on you. Everyone is suspecting you. How could that be? I don't know anything about this. Believe me. Well, you should go and explain to them. I don't know why you're even telling me this. Go and explain to them. If you feel you're innocent, fine. Explain to them. Not telling me. Because... If maybe the police couldn't find him, that's why it's taking them so long to come back. Well, let him run. Let him run to hell. I will catch up with him. Oh, I will catch up with him and I'll make him regret that he ever came to my house and did this to my family. Chief, will I see somebody will not forget? Go check for me. my house and take my daughter away and introduce her into a drug that knocked her into a coma. Please tell me, how dare you? Chief, I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, you don't understand. But let me tell you this, by the time the police catch up with you, oh, you will regret ever, ever trying to come into my house and do this to my family. I can assure you that. Chief, I, I don't know anything. You have to let me explain what happened. Is he, is he talking? Hey, Chief. Let me crush him! No, Chief. He has not got into that. Let the police make him tell the truth. Let, 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 me, let me crush him. But Chief, our colleagues did not find him. This is the bastard. This is the bastard who came here and took my daughter away. You have to listen to my own side of the story. Shut up! You said that at the station. You won't take me to the Shut city. up! Chief, if there is anything that is wrong with your daughter, you have to ask your wife here. Yes, ask her. The other day we came home together. They had a very serious quarrel. She asked if I even slapped my sister, your wife here. She said, ask her. What are you trying to insinuate? Huh? Chief, I mean, Probably we had a fight. And maybe she hit me or I hit her. Oh. Well, I don't have anything to do with her present condition. Fads, Chief, make I tell you the truth. Make I tell you what happened. Well, you better tell me now. You better tell me now. Aminu! Aminu! Come! Yeah, money. I get off of one. Anybody? Uh-huh. Bunny, a coke.
Chief. No way, sir, I can't run out of house. When you travel, I beg, a mistake. I don't go to him again. Get up! Get out of my face! 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 How could you? After all I've done for you and your family. I'm sorry. How could you? How could you plan to take away my source of joy? Chief. Just explain. Hmm? Explain. Please, officer. Take this woman away before I kill her. Please take her away before I kill her. Please, my sister, arrest her. Arrest me too. Just say make I try for once. Only one, only one, Chief. I don't go try him again. I don't go try. Say make I just enjoy one, Chief Abel. Don't fire me. I don't want to fall down again. Abel, Chief, Chief Abel, Chief Abel. After our disagreement that day, I went over to a friend's house. I went there for advice. Hey, take this. What's this? It's raw cooking. For what? You keep putting little of this in her drink. The more she takes it, she'll get addicted. And then when she gets addicted, she'll become a junkie. And when she becomes a junkie, she becomes useless in life. And when she's useless, mm -hmm. her father will have no choice but to disown her. Mm -hmm. Then I can get everything that I've ever dreamt of. That's your last card to play. <laughs> <sighs> You're such a bad Oh, please. <laughs>
Follow my instructions? No, not exactly. How do you mean? I just turned the freaking shit into her account. That's all I did. What? What should you do that for? I don't know. I don't know. Call it hatred. Call it whatever it is. But please, please, I need you. I need you. Um, um, who else is in the house with you right now? Um, um, I have a, I have a good man. I did, I did your travel. You know what? Just ask him to go get something. Anywhere, just send him out of the house. I don't want him to be around when I'm coming. I have an idea. Okay. Okay. I will. Um, how many minutes? Please just tell me something. Right now.
that's all that happened. In this case, you are wicked and heartless. I must tell you the truth, or your confessions are here. You have committed a most unspeakable crime, which may not be pardoned by the law. And you will dance the music. I'm sorry.